All right, hey guys, welcome in today. We got some paints on. We are doing a fall autumn birch tree um, painting today that we're gonna have some fun with and get our supplies out here. I got all my supplies out. Here, I got some temper cakes. You can use regular paints if you want. Um, I got some tape and I got a little bit thicker paper. My paper is a little bit thicker. You can hear a couple paint brushes and my secret tool up here, which you can just see. There they are. Um, I got my Dua Dots. These things are really fun and awesome and I haven't used them in a while, so I'm excited to do that. But first thing we need to do, tape our picture. I guess the first thing that we should do is hit the subscribe button down below. If you haven't hit my subscribe button or are not one of my subscribers, click the button and the bell down below. And free fun videos coming out every single week. Do that. Now we can do this. Um, get your tape. You can put uh, three random kind of stripes of tape. If I can pull off the tape here. Do those across any way that you want. Uh, ripping tape is a little bit tricky for my elementary kids, um, but as you get better and better at doing it, uh, they do not have to be perfectly straight up and down. Uh, you can do them a little bit longer. It might actually work out to your benefit because as I put my little thumb on here and do my trick of ripping the tape like that, you can always take some of that extra and that could be another branch that could come off this way. And then I'll finish up with the last one. Okay, and then just like I added the branch over here, you can add some other random branches going off to the side of your paper. Uh, I'll do one over, eh, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do a little one over here since I like that way that kind of stands out over there. We'll do that one, and then maybe one up top. Okay, that looks pretty even on my composition. Tried to do three, it doesn't have to be perfectly in the center. They can be off a little and slanted a little. As you guys know, know, birch trees or any trees are not perfect. They're more organic shaped. What you're gonna do is use these Dua Dots for the background. I'm gonna try to do it um, a little bit more warm colors, but I'm gonna try to do it almost like a sunset, kind of with my lighter colors starting first and then going darker and darker um, with my colors as they go. They go more outside on there. So I'm gonna start with my dots. The Dua Dot not need to do anything really too much fancy you don't have to squeeze them some people think you have to squeeze them or you have to really stomp or pound them on here um, just really really light sometimes right away if it's new you have to kind of activate it um, by just pushing it but really it goes pretty easily and I'm barely touching the paper at all you don't have to squish it um, on the paper too hard also it'll kind of splatter go around here real quick and start doing my colors as it's kind of exploding to the outside of the paper let's go through that real quick looks really good on there definitely looks a little bit more like a sunset you can see how I tried to go on this one almost in rows on here kind of like a rainbow going to the top of the paper but I'm gonna throw some green in here green being probably my darkest color just to make it, it once you add that it looks a little bit more like leaves and this one I can already tell sometimes you can tell on them if they're a little bit more liquidy where this one if I push down it really would spray around so you got to be careful this one I'm just barely touching um, and then as I get to the top I can push a little bit more harder because that would be darker on the top but you do it however you think looks the best um, so I'm gonna finish this off and then and show you what we're gonna do on the bottom here. Okay, cool, I'm happy with how this is looking. So now on the bottom, I'm gonna almost do like a ground or kind of the base layer, the bottom layer. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take some brown in my temper cakes. If you haven't used these before, you can get your paintbrush wet. Bottom, I can go right over it as well. And I'm gonna go kind of long strokes on the bottom. I can tell that this is a little bit more wet than I want. So I'm gonna dry off my brush a little bit with my towel, get a little bit more of the brown paint where I'm scrubbing it on the brown. Yeah, that's a little bit more what I want. So I want it a little bit darker down here and then I can kind of wash it out as it gets to the bottom down here. Leave a little bit of white in there. Okay, that is looking good. You can dry off your brush. It will still have some brown on it, and that's actually what I want to use to my benefit. Now, it's a little bit dry. I'm going to go back over those areas and kind of smush some of that white out of there, but with a lighter brown. And I can do that not only on the bottom, but I can also do that on some of the top areas also, where I can kind of smush some of those colors. Adding some brown in there just creates a little bit more depth. Now, for the fun part, we get to do the birch trees. So, if you peel up the tape, I kind of hold my finger on here just so it doesn't rip just in case it shouldn't if you're using a thicker paper and then you kind of have the big reveal 
Bam. Now those will look really, really nice. You can set your tape off to the side or in the garbage, preferably. Another little fun part to add some detail. You can get your brush a little bit wet. I'm gonna go in my black. I don't want it too dark just yet. You wanna have a little bit more of a dry brush technique. So you don't want it too dry if you need a piece of paper. Practice this first, that would be okay. You're basically trying to get just the bristles to kind of touch. You don't want to smush down on your brush. You want just the brish bristles touch on the piece of paper because we're gonna try to create that illusion of the tree uh, bark on here. I'm gonna do just really lightly down and up, up and down, kind of going the direction of the tree you can go darker on one side if you want. If you want to grab a little bit more of the paint, you can do that same thing. And then you'll start to get like a little texture. As I get to some of them, you can go a little darker on one side if you want to make it a little bit more 3D, that is okay. Now they're definitely looking a little bit more like birch trees. The last is I think what's mo the most fun part. I'm gonna grab my smaller brush on here and now I do want to take a little bit more of that water, scrub it into the paint and again I'm just using the very very tip of this to add those little birch textures on the side. Almost kind of going back and forth just above the paper. Feel the paper oh, just a little bit and then I'm gonna move from one side to the other kind of back and forth on one side and then go back on the other side. Okay, definitely looking awesome. My last step that I wanna do, again, I wanna kinda of get a nice clean brush edge so it's nice and crisp on here. I wanna go outline, almost like a Sharpie outline on my branches all the way around. So I'll go through that real quick. All right, ready, bam, there it is. Thought they turned out really, really cool. This is my first time ever doing a birch tree project. I've seen so many online and I'm definitely happy how this, I think it's a little simpler technique in the background, but I could see this going like next level. Awesome and I liked using these dot makers because I haven't used them in a while. So hopefully you guys had some fun with me. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel and we'll talk to you guys later.